spelled and the no, was here, it. and it was incorrect, and it was the clerk Look, we're not, pushed we're not, we're not, we're not, it, and it was completely not, false. Do you want to get your stuff or not? Yes, where's well, the plaintiff? Well, I thought the plaintiff had to be well, here in order to do this. Where's Longflat? I mean, where is it? Who is? I thought the Longflat had to be with you in order to do this. That is not true. I know for a fact. All right, well, then go to the courthouse and work it out. 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 Go to the He's an agent. He's an agent. Oh, well, okay, where are we going to go Sorry, I'm so sorry. So what are you going to get from inside? What do you need? Papers. Any machines? Any where are they at? I'll get them for you. Um, I, we don't, uh, why can't I get my... Because I'm getting them for you. I don't we, we know where they're at. Are like cats sure. in there too? Okay, it's a mess right now. I'm not going to get hurt. I'm going to quite hurt you here. Uh, can I grab my court papers? You're going to you're gonna have a chance. I am long flat. Okay, hold on. Why are you saying who's long flat? Can you... I said because I wanted to know how this is possible. I know who no, Long Flat is. Long Flat is a company. Let me know when you guys are done, alright? Let me know when you guys are done. I'm confused. I thought Let me know when you guys are done. Don't tell me what you think, tell me what you know. I know that the plaintiff is required to be there. I don't need to be there. The plaintiff is here. Where is he? I'm there. I'm there. Is that it? That's it. That's your one question. The plaintiff is up there. Yeah. He's up okay. the hill. Why, why we're also we're uh, also long time. They took our name, have, our business name. I have proof of it. I don't care. Do you want to look for this? No bearing. No. No bearing on the What about our? But my cat. Where did you go? Why did you leave it? I believe you. I believe there's a cat in there. No, about everything else. It doesn't matter. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. How? Because I have a minute order. This is against my 14th right. Of the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. Oh, yes, I do. What is it? Look, stop. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Okay, what's your date of birth? October the 7th, 1980. Alright, that was October 7th, 1980. Yep. Okay, what's your telephone number? Uh, 323-522-3607. Is that a cell phone? No, it's a landline. Correct. Okay, what's your zip code? Nine zero zero two six. That was nine zero zero two six. Yep. Okay, just one moment. I'm gonna go print this document. Okay, what's
Still there? Yeah. Yep, just one moment. Sure. Hang on. I'm literally just waiting for you to print the documents. Uh, internal corruption in the city of Los Angeles uh, involving real property and, and, and mortgage frauds, but uh, with collaboration of... Have you reported this to the FBI previously? I've tried to, but you guys have never, like, heard me out, and I have continued to have evidence piling up in the... Uh, so what's the new information that you're reporting today, if you've already reported this previously? Yeah, um... The employee, Carlos Pelez of the city of Los Angeles. Sorry, I don't need any names, sir. Okay. The two of the people who work in the housing inspection department of the, the city of Los Angeles are involved in purposefully removing houses from the rental market to from the REAP program, the substandard housing program, to help They're them. They take houses from the rental escrow program called REAP, and they remove them from REAP, and they use them with their family member to sell them in mortgage fraud. And how do you know this? My house is one of them that's been defrauded, and I have papers that were sent to me from an internal employee at HCDILA that outlines how they redline the house and remove it from the rental market, which could have never been done, and right. it goes... Fuck you, bitch. Oh, fucking cunt. Yeah. Fucking Christ, what is wrong with them? Weekends. It's not a weekend. I know, it's the best, best time to report it. No, it's not the best time to report it. It's the best time is like... Oh yeah, they're, they're literally such bastards. Every time. I have more patience usually, but this well, is like. Well, now you have a recording of it. We can supply it to the, like, you know, customs, uh, the internal affairs. I mean, usually I have more patience to deal with them, but this is just like a f time after time after time of rude, rude phone calls. I'm like trying to give them information. Yeah, it, like, it's not like you, that the, we weren't supposed to supply names. She supply names because of the factual
Hey, your good faith, your good faith okay. means a lot. I, uh, of course, I'm trying. I've been trying to I, do this right. I believe it's been hard. I believed you since the beginning. Um, the bottoms are open. He's just getting the other key for that. There's, right. you know. Any harsh words from me? Just I'll keep it short. I believed you from the beginning, I and so any that. harsh words are only because and I've been. I felt really bad about this whole situation as well. I just, like I said, I couldn't walk away from it. And and we still can't either. But we're not going to take any possession tonight. Of any kind. Okay, I appreciate that. Let's just deal with it the right way. I know, but if you are looking for an out at any point, just call us. We have a really good, like, situation, and it's not okay. worth. It's not right. worth. Right now, we not worth putting your life in. With this part of the process. It's not worth putting your life in jail. You just get another key, but the downstairs you can start on. I know. Well, people, I'm just. This is just between you and you. A person who's known for being the asset hider is just as much an accessory to the crime. I and know. I've heard you tell me all of this. I'm just telling you that you have an I out. I know, but you're not, you don't understand my angle and my side of it. You're not seeing what I, what the, the position I have in this, that I can't walk away financially because I have everything, fam like my mum's money, that I, I have to support my family. 
I've invested that, that money into this. I can't walk away from it, Eric. It's like my, the welfare of my family relies on it. That's why I'm in this position. Maybe someone can hire you. For what? I mean, I work full time as well. Yeah. But this, what I invested into here is like money for me that I took from my mum. To, well, we haven't got my, we have much money, you know. I have to look after my mum and my dad. Do you know what trouble is? Yeah, I've had plenty of it. Trouble. I've had plenty of trouble. Treble. T R E B L E. It means three times the damages for anyone who's involved. It means, right. it means you actually have recouping sure. costs. Okay, sure. Maybe so. But like I said, the position I'm in, I have to try and get what I've put into this back mm -hmm. out. Well, I'm not I have no choice. I'm not arguing with you here because it's not worth it. No, I know. But, but I'm, I'm just I'm trying to convey to you my not, position in this. I'm already with you, and I'm just telling you, maybe talk to me at a later time. Okay, sure. Because... Thank you. No problem. Can you do me a favor and just let me know when you're done? Yeah. yeah and so perfect. I can come and lock up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going to sleep. Yeah, great. Okay. Jackalope! 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 Come on up!
court order. We don't have to do – an IEP is – Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do the plaintiffs wish to have a set date for you to respond to – well, I guess four parts. Do you want to cover all three parts? Yes. Okay, so I'm not hearing from the other side. So rather than being inconfirmed with you, which I can appreciate because it sounds like it might be difficult, and rather than go through the IEP process, if you folks will stipulate that I can issue an order setting a date by which you must respond, then basically you'll forego the motion because then you'll have an order in place. And then if you don't follow the order, then you can be subject to all kinds of sanctions, including money, evidence, sanctions, and ultimately dismissal if you don't respond. I don't know that you're going to be inferred because this is an issue of our own and as the agency is involved, we're inferred. Your Honor, this is – Hold on. It has nothing to do with the other agency. I can't tell you what to do, but it's a pretty good offer, I would say. I won't make that kind of argument if it comes to the court, but I can't guarantee that I'll follow the court. 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 I can't gu
seven thousand dollars, bro. Well, are you gonna pay? No, we're not gonna pay seven thousand dollars. They're trying. They tried to rape us at seven thousand dollars. So you got the hearing for like the quiet time and all that stuff. Uh, you can call it that. They're just interfering. Uh, guy is such a prick, man. I don't even know who he is. So did it go good? Is that? You got the hearing that you wanted, right? Or no? Um, the hearing would be happen anyway. It's just now there's some asshole who like I spilled a coke. Oops, hmm? I spilled some coke. I just noticed. Coca Cola. I gotta clean up in a minute. It's just this asshole, and he's just like every other fucking jackass lawyer. The guy that was talking. Yeah, he's like, oh, you can you can tell from talking to this guy that I don't I don't know if I want to give him my email. Like, are you serious? Yeah, he's like. He's gonna fucking harass my email. If he gives my, if he harasses my email, I'm gonna fucking. It's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, no. But what he said was completely insulting on every level. Consistently, all he did was say, "They're squatters. They're trying to hold out. They're fucking like, they don't." He lied about everything all the way through, and he just kept being insulting and insulting consistently and undermining and being a real fucking bitch. Cancel that insurance. No, you don't. No? No. Uh, yeah, see, I gotta get more familiar with it. You should just cancel them. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Just, that way they would have spent all the money and been fired. Yeah. Just that way to we deal with their ass. It. Just do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paperwork. Fucking dismissal. Because we have till November 3rd to decide. Because currently, now, well, we have like today to decide because you know, it's, I don't know, it's been on. They got wind of the fact that they're default. Mm -hmm. They're in default on our mortgage. Shapiro and and okay, Marx. They're defaulting on it? They did. So that means they're not paying. They, they defaulted on 4 14 or 421. That's on the fourth month. We're in the tenth month. On the fifth month, maybe. Fifth month. They defaulted on 5. So I mean, but if it's defaulting, you like you don't pay. Their lender doesn't give a shit about the loan because it's a lie. Because mm. there's no money to pay. The whole thing's a front. Mm. And so like, their lender's not chasing after it because the lender knows this is a big problem. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I think they know the and so because they defaulted, there's an automatic writing in the mortgage security that says that they have to be. Automatically, uh, so they don't get to really do anything about it. They're, they owe that money regardless now. If their lender gave a shit, their lender would have done something about it. Their lender is waiting to figure out what we're going to do. Because the lender knows that they're going to lose. Because it would be fraud intrinsically. Um, the lender will probably come after us, but we're going to go after them first, right, Jackalope? Jackalope? I'm gonna try and turn it off. Why? I want to hear. I, oh, you do? Is this one right here? Cool case or is it a different one? I just want to hear what, how she acts. Uh, uh, it's not for ours anymore. See, we had another lady all together. I would suggest you file an ex parte with the stipend order because then I can talk to you about the case. She seems like more real. She's candid. And the last judge, right? I like her. Oh, yeah, totally. Like she yeah. can tell you she has like conscience. She's like, <laughs> some reasoning. Yeah. Jack, 
You have to learn though. I don't need it mm -hmm. from you too. You need to not tell me what to do. I'm just looking out for you. You're not helping us. You, you, you can let me really get you. See, mm -hmm. you can do it mm -hmm. your way, and I can do it mine, and we can both push different doors, and then I can learn to, mm -hmm. to specifically back off when I have to. You are supposed to be whatever you think is perfect for this situation, but I'm supposed to fucking be agitating slightly and then also back off consistently and show, like, basically barely walking the line of what they want because that allows us to push the edge and then back off mm -hmm. over and over and figure out where our ground is because they do kind of, like, have this, you know, this, mm -hmm. like, fine line, too, with us because we're pro per and we're disabled. Mm -hmm. So, A, they can't fuck up with us, mm -hmm. and B, they have to give us leeway. So we're allowed to okay. test the waters of anything. And you know, the only way a child learns anything is to be burned by something. Mm -hmm. So if you don't fucking experiment, you know, you won't find out where the line is. Now this other guy, he's just making fun of us, being an asshole, mm -hmm. getting away with it because of his, he's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. If the word lawyer makes you a lawyer, I was being more lawyer than he was up mm -hmm. until that point. I had my whole thing written out mm -hmm. and like was just explaining it and he was just rudely interrupting and like, mm -hmm. I even stated the facts that like, you know, it says in the rules of court that like you can't um, make discovery on a person who's already won in an unlawful detainer mm -hmm. and, totally kind of and everybody that. stopped and was like, oh shit. And mm -hmm. But that didn't matter because he's just undermining us for like not mm -hmm. being a lawyer, so. That's like, mm -hmm. it's not even a big deal to me. It's just like, what the fuck is the dude being a prick for? It's like supposed to be a neutral situation, mm -hmm. a platform for arguing a scenario, mm -hmm. you know? And that felt anything but neutral. Yeah, totally. It felt like a personal attack. Mm -hmm. It is a personal attack. Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, he I mean, was personal but we just went through an unlawful detainer and now they're doing two more and mm -hmm. he's going to do this mm -hmm. and they're all doing it simultaneously in a systematic mm -hmm. attack at the same time to sway us down with mm -hmm. fucking paperwork, which is what I was trying to get to. Yeah, yeah, I know. But yeah. you weren't even letting me speak. No, it's only because when, like, when you don't, you don't, just don't interrupt the judge, that's all. Sorry, someone called and I hung up on them. Oh, it was me. Oh, sorry. That you just no. Hello? kind of old. Shouldn't we be able to at least make a note, a case summary note, Jack Will? So the judge needs to, because she's there, she's like, so mm -hmm. she's there right now. Mm -hmm. So while she's there, mm -hmm. put documents on the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like important. she gets it right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. for documents that are on the record that are important. Mm -hmm. But like, what mm -hmm. they want to know is basically certain things that I'm willing to answer the first page so far. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to answer everything if I don't feel like it. But I would actually supply them with what we were asked by um, uh, the other parties. And then a, a write-up, a summary. Mm -hmm. summary, case summary is a write-up of what our perspective is. And our perspective is that these are attacks from the Church of Scientology. And so you start with the perch, you know, and showing who these people are. And then you show with Markson, and you show specifically Richard Judson Williams is the one who are, we're going after, and Ken, by naming them. Okay. Which will then, that'll drive Ken nuts, because he'll have to go get his own lawyer just to make himself feel good. Because he can't fucking handle fucking being on Jenny's fucking lawyer bill. Because he like wants to make sure he's independently like mm -hmm. who, 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 Ken. Ken? Yeah, well, Ken knows better than fucking have the same lawyer as his daughter because it's stupid. Because if you have the same lawyer, you have no separation between you and the reality of your con. Yeah. And like by having the same lawyer for both parties, they're admitting, which is what I had written down on my notes, oh, yeah. but I didn't get to say it. Yeah. That um, by having the same party, they're immediately stating that like they 
because they're both buyers and they say they don't even have any relationship in their pleadings. They're like, no, there's no relationship between us. We're not, we're not partners in a business. But she said she's a business partner with him or elsewhere. But if you're sellers between the house, then you have a fiduciary interest in your best deal and everyone to themselves, you know? Mm-hmm. So how could you have the same lawyer organizing your situation? Didn't one sell it to the other and now they're done? Why is the first one even involved with the second one? No, you gotta have lawyers, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why are you even like, why does the first person even give a shit what the hell's going on? You know? Yeah. W- were you able to give off any ev- evidence today? I, I got out a couple of cheap shots that were useful. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, Scientology. Yeah, the way you to talk. Yeah, you say Scientology and everybody tries to cover it up by laughing. Like, the mm-hmm. judge doesn't do anything, but the lawyers or whoever else is, like, involved. Isn't well, that, was, like, uh, so called something? Like, Today, when you like doing like making remarks like like that? Yeah, um, it is actually. It would be like a uh, conduct. You know? Yeah, you know, unruly like conduct. Ethical conduct would oh, really yeah. dictate that they should not be making remarks against the like us in general mm-hmm. in Absolutely. the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, like, and then you're, you're fucking, they're Scientologists, they're, so they're, they're like, of it, it's conduct. a fact that they fucking mm-hmm. do horrible things to people and kidnap people and yeah. like mm-hmm. brainwash them. Yeah. Yeah. And so she does, she, what, what worked? Mm-hmm. I went for the fucking stillborn. Yeah, that was, that mm-hmm. was crazy. Mm-hmm. I went for the stillborn, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, we had a stillborn. And yeah. it's going to be like a lot of. Yeah. Uh, last two, like three weeks ago. And Jack was like, <laughs> like mm-hmm. <laughs> hit me. And I'm just like, but I pulled it off and landed it. Yeah, and she's like, I do. Like, pay attention to that. And yeah, but four minutes later, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. No. She listens to the medical si- si- situation. So Is that hung up? Mm, no, they're just, they want someone. No, oh, shit, sorry. What'd you do? I'm just behind the screen. You're not, you're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, th- th- what is this trial for? Because you got multiple trials, right? Mm-hmm. I was under the impression I just that, see, we had a different judge last time, and it was supposed to be the same judge, but this jackass wasn't served. See, that's the first thing. He wasn't even served. Yeah. And so you told me I had two years. Yeah, you were bad. Yeah, so why didn't we just say that? Yeah. I get two years to serve you. Mm-hmm. And they're not well, next door. That they're appraisal frauders. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be to start to present... Mm-hmm. Oh, they're on the front door, ready to go out. Uh, it's a lot of paper. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, to present these books. And the books show everyone who's owned it for... 30 years, which is called the Lawyer's Guarantee, which we're doing on our own. Damn. And then, uh, we've been doing. And then, uh, but then we take 15 of the 26 parties, and we show how they committed fraud. Mm. And the court's gonna get really bored of watching that, but whatever. That's what? their problem. What? How 20, 14 or 15 of 26 people are like, fraud, and then 24 people are in the last group. There are 24 people, at least at the moment, who are directly related to each other in a bigger mortgage fraud, and that's on the small end of it. It's not even, so like, once we get to the party that's like the most fraudulent, which is Jenny and, and Marcuson, it's like, we have this like ripple effect of like people involved, but before that, we just n- knock out the players who are on the no- notary and knock out the signers who are the, the, the assignees of the mortgages. Mm. And so we just like, Nope, they were fake. Nope, they were fake. By showing how, you know? So how is you look up robo-signers and you see which notaries are fake and which vice presidents are fake from other banks from the past. Which, ironically, I think our mortgage is probably one of the biggest fraudulent mortgages in the history of mortgages oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. I've ever seen, like, or wow. heard about, because I've not seen that many, but <laughs> I've seen a lot on the deed sites I look at. And you can tell when there's something weird. But there's like multiple things right here, multiple fraudulent things that happen here. Yeah, back to back for forever. Like, in fact, it was so it's so fraudulent that the guy who had it about seven ago, he just got in trouble for twenty one million dollars worth of mortgage fraud in the East Coast and got caught. His name's Eric Hill. He got caught as like the first one of the biggest rings of fraud in two thousand twenty one. Oh shit! And so it was just kind of like, hey, he's on the news. And this guy's involved with the Shapiro's. No, no, there, there, there are connections between some of them, and it's kind of funny because like, it's, it's like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. 
But they're not a fucking big gathering or fucking fraud, fraud, <laughs> fraudulent yeah. fools. There are the same kinds of people, like, like all over the place. Ha, like, I just got this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's <laughs> rampant. It is yeah, so it's rampant. rampant. Like, it's like the same notaries. Uh, so three groups of people use the same three, or use the same the same group of fraudsters use the same group of notaries, and then the same group of notaries uses the same group of fraudsters as their clients. I thought you sure. They like, all share it. anybody. Yeah. Who's a college dropout who fucking wants to be rich and wants to make it like well, just like Ching Chang Chong Chings? Yeah, mm-hmm. God, I can't believe that's his fucking name. Ching Chong Chang. <laughs> what? One ching of the notaries. Yeah, I'm not making. I'm not ching, racist ching, now. Ching. Uh, one of the notaries' names is Ching Chang Chong Ching. Ching Chong. What? Ching, <laughs> ching Chong Chang. No yeah. way. Straight up. Ching Chang Chong Ching. Yeah. yeah. I think is it three or four? Ching Chang Chong. I think it's three. Okay. Ching, ching, well, I'll just go with three then. Ching Chang Chong. But the D, so you know how typewriters are the same? Like, uh, letters on typewriters are specific. Mm-hmm. They like have a shape. So I noticed the O is the same mm-hmm. on the, I'm sure the other letters are too, but on the typewritten part of the form that Ching Chang Chong Ching sits, signs, mm-hmm. it says Chenny Shapiro typewriter. So a notary always oh, signs the name. Mm-hmm. Oh, notary really? has to write the name yeah, of the yeah, person yeah. they're signing for to prove they oh, actually wrote fuck. it. So, but then what is the person who types their name? The per- is just Justin Lanceman is the person who types at the bottom with the typewriter yeah, on the end of the last side. And his zero is identical to the zero, which is it's not a regular zero. It's a zero with like a little, looks like a, someone kicked it, you know? Someone like kind of with a boot, like mm-hmm. kicked it, the O. So you can tell the O is like definitely the same because it's like mm. really got a dent in it, you know? Wow, really good observation. And so I was like, well, does that mean Justin Lanceman did it? Well, that's how I have to go at this point is I'm like, what's the chain of custody of this mm-hmm. thing? And you can only make certain assertions. So either Chenny made it or Justin made it. Because it's really easy to... Because Ching Chung Ching did not make fraud that shit. notary. Because he would have handwritten it because it would have been what he's supposed to yeah, do. Yeah, that's what he does. But, but then Brendan Jimenez doesn't actually sign Brendan Jimenez's um, notary... Brendan Hermendez is notary signed by Kusan Harmoncourt. Kusan Harmoncourt is the other guy. He's like Ken. There's two. There's two dirty dealers in in LA that are really dirty that get, get hired to do this shit. So there's Ken and Kusan Harmoncourt. Kusan Harmoncourt was a notary for selling the house for nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars back to the lender after he signed the notary to give the straw buyer Brendan Hermendez the money. Because Stephen Schneider's real name is Brendan Hermendez. What? Yes. Well, there's Brendan Jimenez is this, like, tennis player slash he ran a company called DJ Maps. Shows you where DJs are at. It's, like, on your phone in a map program. Oh. And he, he lives at his parents' house, supposedly. Well, he's not, he's not fucking for real. I don't think. But anyway, Steven Schneider's for real. You should see Steven Schneider's, like, mm-hmm. M.O. Steven Schneider's pretty funny. <laughs> he's, like, the, the hero of all this. Except for us. He's the hero of all this in the fraud game. Because, like, Steven Snyder, you want to win or do well or succeed because he's such a, just a lovable character. But Really? Yeah. He's a lovable character. Except if you're getting $200,000 stolen from you, I'm sure. You probably hate Swindler. Him. <laughs> <laughs> probably don't like him very much for that. Well, I like him. He left us his house. We didn't talk about it or anything. Didn't even know him before this. But theoretically, he left us his house, you know? Oh. The lenders like them. They they got all their money in this house, you know. Oh. That's why, that's why I really don't like this lawyer. It's not a personal thing. Mm-hmm. This isn't a personal matter. You mm-hmm. shouldn't make us out to be something. Yeah. That this isn't about. Mm-hmm. And that's why I would actually argue, like. Totally. Okay, you're gonna call us all these things, and you want to argue. If you want to argue in law, then don't make this about people. You should realize the real people who committed the crimes here are, first of all, the people you represent, but mm-hmm. secondly... It's probably Zytonicus. Yeah, he is. Check him out. They, actually, they, they had a yeah, whole right. Scientology law firm. Yeah, they have several, and that's probably why they went to fucking San Dimas. Why else would they go to fucking San yeah. Dimas? He was trying to get us to fucking personally serve him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, I'm not going to order that. <laughs> yeah. We're like, what the fuck? We're nowhere near each other. Yeah. In San Dimas. <laughs> oh, is he in Newport Beach? No, San oh. Dimas. <coughs> Why does he say that? Dunin D. Scott, because that's another person named Dunin. Oh. Daniel Scott Dunin. Funny thing is, is I would love to serve him in person, because if I knew where his office was, I could fucking <laughs> like, 
disable his entire office. Yeah, he's supposed to have it by law, but it's, manda- it's mandated since January 1st of last year. Well, you know what <laughs> office buildings have, right? Drop mm-hmm. ceilings. You know what drop ceilings have? No. <coughs> Fucking electrical in them. You know what electrical and drop ceilings have? Fire. Water. That too. Water, fire, but a place to put a fucking signal blocker that has power mm. for for Wi Fi totally. network. You could just completely put his business out of business. Mm. Until they discover it. You would not discover that shit. <laughs> yeah. It would be like months. So if if high rise is perfect place. Now that they've it. got wind that they have their default and that we know it. Well yeah, look at the document. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How, how do you, can you look it up? Mm-hmm. Or oh, it's right in front of me, huh? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> what would I be doing if I was to testify? Um, you'd be saying that, uh, you, that you know about the length of time we've been here, mm-hmm. the candor of our character, mm-hmm. you're a neighbor, that you live in the near, near within a block or two, or a, block, a few blocks, mm-hmm. that you've known how long we've lived here for the, the duration of it. How'd you guys move in? Yeah. You, uh, you helped us move a refrigerator and some and lo- lots of lumber and that like um, that we got your kid into like playing synthesizers with mm-hmm. with your your we Legos. Really run yeah, Legos. and that uh, these aren't people who are evil religious <laughs> they aren't they aren't Scientologists Tex what are you particular. doing. Do they, do they uh, acknowledge that they are Scientologists or they just laugh? Um, well, they do. They do in a, in a video. When I say evil Scientologists, you are not the deed holders, you are the lien holders. I am the title free holder. Leave this property now. You are trespassers trying to trespass my quiet enjoyment and my right to like privacy. And then they look at it and they go, huh, there he is. On the, on the ring, right? Mm-hmm. And, she, and, and, and then he, she goes, uh, Hello? She goes, uh, are they there? And Richard goes, I don't know. He stands like a fucking dick like that. And he goes, I don't know. He's like looking up like into the distance. Kind of and she's all, well, talk to the fucking male, to the, to the ring. And he's all, no, I don't want to. You're better at it. <laughs> and then, uh, and that's basically what they do. And then she pushes the button and then they look at it. And this is like the fifth time that they've like come to the ring and like interacted with it and like, basically tried to fuck with us and at that point they're like oh so we did get a hold of him and then she's like oh can he hear me of course he can hear me he just talked to me mm-hmm. he's in there that's like all they say really mm-hmm. yeah well, i mean they, they don't acknowledge him in court no they think that's evil oh well but i call them evil scientologists and they're with markson and so when i say this and i go evil scientologists they go you know yeah it was like oh and then they go um Let's SP them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where, like, psychologists fucking... Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it means yeah. let's... Yeah. They're like, let's suppress a person, them. Oh, okay. Which is, like, the worst thing you can get, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, SP. Oh, that means, like, you just, like, get, like, tormented and all that shit, right? Yeah. And they've done a pretty good job of that. So, I guess what you would actually be saying is, like, well, I have had my car stolen. I have had my tires slashed. I have had my tires slashed again. I have had my other car's exhaust cut off or... Attempted to be manifold stolen. Uh, every time I left their house, I basically had car problems for a pretty much a year-long period of time until my car was basically dismantled and on the side of the street to the point I was getting tickets because I was usually being followed by a car when I left here or one was sitting in front of my house stalking me to some degree. And it's ridiculous. It affected my life, my well-being, and they tried to keep me from being friends with my friends. And luckily, I'm a stronger person than that, so I didn't like you know give into that kind of bullshit but most people couldn't put up with their car being fucked with that much yeah you know? yeah maybe I, should, I should file a lawsuit against them. no i'm putting you i'm bringing in the <coughs> you and your family with protect like people that are restrained against you know, restraining you order like, for you yeah you're, so. you're added to our restraining oh thank you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah totally um, we like, haven't got one yet ourselves because we're yeah, fucking, I'm fucking failing slow as fuck to come to but um but yeah it wouldn't be a bad thing to have you as a as a as a person who can be a party to the, the, the evidence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I could try to gather up photos and stuff of the car and like the police report oh, and yeah, all that. Can you? Please, that'd yeah. be great. And if you want it to be evidence that you can use, there's no reason. See, the way the law works is you make a claim and they have to defend it. And they can't defend something that has a preponderance of, of 
preponderance of most likely it happened. Mm -hmm. If it most likely happened, it happened. And so what one thing is really going in our favor here is Judd has three uh, car robberies and conspiracy to rob cars on his record, and I got the record. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And he had to serve three months for them each. Jax, yeah. what are you doing? And that's not all. He has, like, three DUIs, too. So. Not to mention all their cases and lawsuits and against he, them. And they have, like, you know, fraud against the FTB, fraud against the PPP, fraud against the mm -hmm. Tarantized Ta State Tax Board, fraud against the, so the, the U.S. trustee, fraud against the IRS. Fraud Damn. Against, yeah. And they, fuck a little shit on the record. Oh, yeah. Like six, criminals. Six, oh, yeah. Oh, straight up. And they have, like, six other fucking cases that they're, like, defrauding while they're defrauding those people. The State Insurance Compensation Fund, this guy David Glazier... Molansky, Ben Fulton, How do they Michael catch Finn. On to that shit? How does the court not see that? They're really, really um, good at, at making everybody wait while they lie to them and say, like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm getting money here. Mm -hmm. And so all they're really doing, though, is collecting money and putting it in their little secret fund over here. Yeah. And then keeping everybody waiting. And, mm -hmm. and I really don't know, other than, like, I'm probably doing a disservice by not calling the people yeah, and saying, hey, are you in a really bad situation with these people? Does this suck? Do you hate dealing with them? Or, yeah. like, did you ever get paid? I just sent that email out to David Glazier. But, like, when we do write these people mm -hmm. and say that kind of shit, their lawyer will always write back and be like, I'm sorry, we can't join forces. It's like, what the fuck are you talking this about? I'm a, just a trying to fucking privilege. give you information. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? Yeah. Lawyers, they're fucking retards. I fucking hate them. Except for, except for fucking uh, Terry Fields. I'm sick and tired of this. All we gotta do is fucking get... What we want has to be written down every time. If mm -hmm. you want something, write it down. That's true, that's true. If yeah. you want it, write it down. That way we can tell Terry or we can do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be a fucking lawyer who hates Scientologists. She found a fucking law firm that actually will fight this shit for us. Yeah, yeah like, it's actually I'm sure there's, there's a lot who hate fucking Scientologists. And like they want to take them down. And so they'll do it for free. And she found a law firm that basically it's called the Lawyers Fund for yeah. what? Lawyer Legal Fund? Yeah, and it has an infinite amount of money and they only want one thing for you never to settle. If you don't settle, they'll take your case as long as you have a case they f believe is a winning case. Mm -hmm. And the and winning case... Literally. They just want a perfect, perfect record. Mm -hmm. no. Jackalup, what we're missing is what I told you in the first place. What is it? The premises liability. Yeah. You put the fucking physical injury tort in mm -hmm. there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Everybody's gonna be like, fucking, what they do to her? And you put in the fucking mm -hmm. stillborn fucking shit up in there? No one has to even be, no one can bear fucking shit up there. Whatever, it's fucking real. Yeah, I, know. I know, the thing is, you put mm -hmm. that in there, mm -hmm. check a little. You instantly have a home run. You mm -hmm. have the fall on video, you have mm -hmm. the fucking death. The harassment. Fucking, like papers, you have mm -hmm. the fucking harassment, you have the fucking, you know, the photos of the fucking life or like, baby, then the fucking dead baby fucking in front of the fucking fall, the time sequence is perfect, you know, you blame them for fucking what it is, this stolen car, fucking our mm -hmm. harassment, the fucking phone calls, yeah. the psychological and emotional Our death. family is being fucking yeah. yeah. Fucking. Fucking. And I know one thing for sure, what's her name? My dad's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brenda will send us some postcards that say some evil shit. No what? Like their fucking death threats. Just drop in the post box over in Florida to all over here. She uh, can send us some fucking official fucking evil, scary stuff, spooky stuff. She did that? She's fucking, why not? She's fucking, put some she gloves. Cut it up at home when she's doing nothing else. Put it in, in the mailbox with some gloves on. Thank you, Brenda. Damn. Yeah. Like buying or yeah, I just gotta get my phone number from my dad and just start talking to him on the phone a little bit for like a week. Mm -hmm. And a week later, I'm like, Brent, I need you to do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Tell my dad. I need to make a phone call. Because mm -hmm. they live in Florida. Mm -hmm. But keep your distance. Do hmm? not get close to these guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't say anything. Just make a phone call and send it to me. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the most retarded thing I've ever heard. Fucking a Scientologist sends a postcard in the mail. <laughs> 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 um, no, nah, it's for real though. Ken Shapiro is definitely the chief person to go after. Yeah. But he's so the real thing is is this isn't about the real people to go after. It's about capturing them. Like she said, 
It doesn't matter about the other organization. It does fucking do matter about the other oh, organization. Oh, the other departments that you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. I'm not just going to hand everything over. They want information because if you know, see, sorry, I'm rambling. If you give her what she's not seeing, mm -hmm. Pelez is stacked. He's like, fucking this. Mm -hmm. All right? What does their stack look like? What is their request? I don't know. What's this guy's request? Okay. This is it? Yeah, go a little further. That's the answer. Oh, I need to actually read those things. I know I had a photo of these before. So oh, we, we have those. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, oh yeah, we did it. Find them, but we do have them. Not good photos. Saved them okay. one time. Deep somewhere. Keep going. I almost there. What am I looking for? You wanted an uh, interrogatory? Okay. And, uh, like, admissions and whatever? I just want to see what he's trying to ask. <laughs> Told you, did, you let me answer. Did, did you see how she flip flopped what he was requesting and turned it against him? Like he, she like he says, I'll even forego the monetary damages or something like that. He's like, Well what I'm concerned about is like your your demand for admissions because if you don't answer something it's it can be deemed as admitted. And that's and that's dangerous because it's it's not it can you know, it's not it's not really playing fair. She's actually playing fair, the judge, like, by that's allowing... That's good. Yeah, yeah, totally. And, um, and so she caught him say that about how the, da uh, how he would, you know, remove the, the request for damage, for, sorry, for monetary damages. I and she, she said... That's cool. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Reverse? Yeah, but... I think that maybe it was good that I didn't say anything at all at the end because I was dying to say, like, did you just see that little blow? about the lawyer because mm -hmm. that was really shitty yeah, she probably saw it. it of course she had mm -hmm. to hear it mm -hmm. you say that last thing and then old big mouth over here me mm -hmm. who's like what he just said basically didn't say anything at all that what did he say he said uh he said oh i don't want to give my email out because oh, yeah. uh, because uh you can see how this guy acts right now like t dealing with him is going to be fucking it was like i was like oh. yeah i scoffed a little I was like, oh. but we got his email right yeah 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 <laughs> but no, it's like literally mandated. Mm. I wanted to say that. I should have said that. It's good when you have friends mm -hmm. like him, her. Mm, why? Because we're going to make some mm. law firm red line art. Oh, cool. And we're gonna publish now we're some, talking. We're going to publish some <laughs> apology red line art. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my god, Jesus. there it is, finally. Right finally on. something comes along. That is great. Can, I, can you look up Emperor real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we had anything to do. Uh, it's so refreshing. All right, Emperor. This one? Yeah, images. Yeah. It's raining! Yeah, it's good. It's so awesome. Except for if it rains on the computer. Make sure there's something to cover up. Water will go in there, it'll kill it instantly. So what does one do to make Scientology graphically translate into a satire? See the one oh, right well, there on, the, the, on all the right? Oh, the tumbler. The tumbler with all the gifs in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the one on the bottom right? Mm -hmm. the, the basketball? That's my favorite. The center one. right? Yeah, that's my favorite one. I do. Nothing. Did I just do a water drop here? That's high, mo high medium, low. Some people like... Sorry, 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 sorry. Click on that one. Which one? Uh, the graphic itself. This one? That's what I clicked on. Oh, yeah, just right click. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Open, and Open image and new. So I won't have to do the court thing for a while, right? Um, but I can try to gather some photos together and like a little statement, mm -hmm. or I don't know, maybe you guys agree with me on something. Yeah, mm -hmm. we will. We're gonna go to court before they told us to. Okay, let's know. Yeah, let me know. Cause I'm gonna Jack with two. But I said originally, mm -hmm. you cancel the case, you start a new one, and then yeah, because you don't mm -hmm. want to. Oh yeah, listen. Yeah, I'm listening. You don't want to dismissal. Dismissal will block us from it if we lose our fucking unlawful detainer. So it's a matter of like right now, you're losing time on the unlawful detainer. Did you did you get the thing submitted? File? Just on on I submitted it onto this case the quiet title I I didn't get a chance to do it yet to the the case that it matters on the case that it matters on so I'm gonna upload it right now. Okay. 
It'll, it, it, here, let me show you. It's is actually it really good. Is it signed? No. Oh my God, I can't. And I forgot the purpose of this. I just oh. submitted it. That's what she said. I was testing the wires to see what she would, if she would get it immediately. And she did. She said she received a 26 page, you know, thing. And that's why she was asked. Like, I appreciate it. Like, uh, if you're going to do anything with memorandums or points and authorities, like, points and charges, like, please give me a 30 to copy. Who? The judge. To whom? To me, basically, but she didn't know she was talking to me yet. You filed the 26 page thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the motion to vacate was that aside. Let me see. Because I made the, all the cases related. Filed it in the wrong case? On purpose. Because it, it gives a summary breakdown of how, what what we're dealing with, even yeah, though it's yeah. not like the best. It, yeah, I mean, I it's, it's good, it's good, though. Uh, no. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. I'd like to say it's good, but the last time I read it, it was pretty. Yeah, it got a lot better. Yeah, we're like, we're in the middle of the shittiest part of all of this again. Mm -hmm. I want it to go away. What are you doing now in the rain? Oh, I gotta take my kid to school. Gotta go and roll. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess I should go. Which one, the little one? Right, start down the street. Right, right down the street from here. Which one? That school. Might be this one right here. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was telling you that school, if you needed to use our address for any reason to be in there, because I think you're on a different school line or the mm -hmm. well, a different line, I think. I, you I can. I, I think I, I, he's going to it. I think I'm pretty sure it's that one. Cool. Good, good, good. It's uh, the public school? It's like a magnet public school. Yeah, yeah, magnet. Yeah, this okay. one, it's a Le it's a Leishan Park, like, uh, with, with cat. Magnet? Yeah, the, his, the logo of his school is called Room 8, the cat. Oh, okay. And Room mm -hmm. 8 is the sculpture. I'm pretty sure that's it. Where you park, there's mm -hmm. a sculpture in the ground. Oh. And it's, like, uh, you know, next to that agave. Mm -hmm. It's upside down. That's Room 8, the cat, the sculpture that was uh, being made for the school when the place blew up a long mm -hmm. time ago in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And so it's, like... And that guy's a sculptor who's in the Smithsonian, so we have a piece of Smithsonian art that's upside down in the dirt up there that belongs to the school that never made it there because it was supposed to be delivered that week or something. Oh, shit. And, uh, but your kid will know all about roommates soon. That's cool. Because <laughs> he's like the most famous cat in the world, actually. Oh, shit. Because he was on all the TV and the movies when the, that was Edendale. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Crazy. Should I have to go take him there? Um, so right. this is <laughs> okay, crazy. See yeah, Thank I'll you. See, see you all soon. <coughs> Those kids are crazy over there. They sound like this all the time. Ah! <laughs> 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 it sounds like Vietnam up here sometimes yeah. in, in the, the warm part are, of the year. Mm -hmm. Insane. Kids yeah. are wild. Yeah, they are. But when you have the, the so parents alive. and yeah. the kids screaming at recess, and then they have the intercom system, they're like, well, Charlie 3, come to the fucking infirmary. Charlie 3, yeah. come Charlie 3, <laughs> yeah. Four. yeah. Well, Mercedes, come to the infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, the parrots are all crackling, and the kids sound like little machine guns. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, then you got parrots. the construction workers, like, jackhammering. It sounds like fucking straight up Vietnam up here. Yeah, yeah, straight up. When the kids are in school. Yeah, yeah this painting, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm proud of this one. Really? Last time it wasn't boxed out enough. Cool. Yeah, it, it should well, the cranes, but it should have been court, better. Court went pretty good. Or better mm -hmm. than Rona. I don't mm -hmm. get better as soon as yeah. I come up with mm -hmm. evil ways to fucking make this life, man's life hell. I'm right. That's good. Um, I didn't finish it through again, but I think it's, it's still pretty strong. Throughout, it says, To the court on November 18th, 2021, at 8.30, as soon after we held, la 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 la. The vendors are requesting the default and default judgment you to set aside vacated. Uh, well, mm -hmm. We should go to the courthouse. In San Diego's? Oh, you see? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, totally. I, you know, it's a lot of paperwork, so I brought you this. Mm -hmm. If you want to copy it, I'll give you the, the short version and just keep it simple. But you're gonna want certain files here because it's mm -hmm. it's a lot of it's a lot of information dealing with this coming from. You guys are you guys are something else. Your clients. I mean, I would if I were you, I would feel sick to my stomach working with people like that. Scientology is a fucking crime, man. <laughs> You know, I'm just you know, another Buddhist. So. He's a Scientologist lawyer, probably. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah, so here. Uh, so that's what we'll find out, though. We piss him off right away, I think. This motion is made on the fine grounds that the default judgment is void. Usually they kind of proud, right? Mm -hmm. and yeah. the, their testimony is, in, is a complete contradiction to the filed declarations. Okay. See you all soon. See you. See you. See you. So, so right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. A judgment secured by extrinsic fraud may be attacked at any okay. time, either by motion or in an independent action. You can have it read it so it can go faster because you need to file this in the other clinic. Okay. So if we're going to fix anything, mm -hmm. it would be nice if I was to catch it before you were done. But it, oh, okay. it, you should start filing now. Okay, okay, okay. Because you're in the wrong room talking about the wrong thing with the wrong person when this shit should be filed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
And if you can leave to a minute, then I'd file it then just to get it going. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, like. Oh, here. Let me just get to the, what I wanted to read to you. All right. It's like two paragraphs. Um, and the first wasn't signed, then that's ridiculous because if there's a signature that matches and it's like right here, mm -hmm. and that's the one that you used to fucking sign it in reverse. Oh, I see. Okay. No, no, I see. Um, okay. You mentioned show you based upon this medicine. The med uh, sorry. Wrong one. Says, with all due respect to this court, we must alert the court of the fraud upon this court that makes this request for a default and default judgment unjustified, premature, and illegal. This is a complex case. There is a related case. The judgment is void. This action is brought with malice and ve to vex and trouble using tactics that are frivolous and solely intended to cause harm and necessary delay and confusing the record with a bombardment of bad faith moves, such as entering for default when a judgment would be void on its face. This is a malicious prosecution case being represented to the court. Mr. Er, the plaintiffs and their counsel are colluding to defraud me, my family, the court, the United States by alleging complete false allegations with no basis nor actual criminal prosecution sought by any law enforcement whatsoever. Did you did, did, did we record any of that hearing? Yeah, I did. You did? Where? Uh, on the phone, right here. Where? But it was recording from the TV. So our, our voices were going through the TV. I heard it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it's, what's more important is to, to uh, yes, I'm glad mm -hmm. you're reading, but we need, we need to make, you're good, you're good, we need to file your shit, we need to know what he said, because he said, this was a three-day notice to, on a foreclosure sale, or something like that, so we want to know what, see, this guy's aiming, not for an end of the quiet title, he's ending for sanctions, he's ending for our eviction, he said it. He said it himself. So that's three lawyers. Yeah, no, that's three cases that are simultaneously actions to evict. Oh, shit. This isn't about the quiet title. This is about him evicting. He is pulling a fucking all-out assault on us at the same time, and it's apparent. Mm -hmm. She probably noticed at the same time. And she's like, I want to know why there are these three cases at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, we already won on the, on the merit. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have a means to see it. I told you to only do one thing. I told you to file the fucking. I know. I was trying. I was kidding. Find okay, the fucking. Document. But you're not. Dude, she's in court right now, and you can't fucking submit her the fucking. So the only. Thing okay. I, the only thing the that only matters. I, the only thing you took from me that I asked. I you, brought it back to you three times. Okay, but it's the only thing I asked you to file. <laughs> and you didn't have it. I before? no, I did, and then you called, and then we got called on. And then uh, that's what I was on, but uh, only because. She just said you were on mute over here. What? Yeah. What, how did you call in? They they call it. She wanted me to hear How her voice. How did you call in? Um, from the, the the phone? No, from the from the web, the web, the computer, the web. Oh, there's no microphone on that computer. Yeah, yeah, I know. I thought you were using a telephone. Um, I was, but I needed to download that. You would have been like the cleanest. Sound oh, that one over there. You would have been the cleanest sound in the whole room from this red one. Oh, the red one. Uh, I didn't know what the email was, so that's why that's partially why I turned it off. But then it, it didn't give me a <clears throat> a phone link, like it normally does. Uh, because it's in Microsoft Teams, but I just saw where the phone link was late at the end of the trial. Okay, here, maybe. Um, uh, I sent that so the next time we do this, I want to mm -hmm. sit in my own private little box that we built. Cause I, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Because I, I don't like it. I can't mm -hmm. like, have any privacy. Yeah, if we could create like little miniature stations, like like a, like as if we're like a battleship, like, a, like in a flying... Like little pods of the, uh, what are they? What's called the? Well, can we file these papers? The yeah. What's the like the pilots? I don't care. Uh, I just want to file these. Papers. That's what I'm so doing. But out. like, can you just tell me what that is? I don't know. The cockpit. It's called the cockpit. I'm just thinking about the logical steps to do. And because it's rainy day. You'd imagine that not many people are going to go to the courthouse, which means this is a day we should go to the courthouse. Okay, for what? To submit papers in person uh. for a fucking court filing to fucking get the shit shut down. You know? Mm -hmm. Bird, Bird's able to fucking stop this from happening again. Mm -hmm. Bird can see the truth. So if we're not providing the truth, mm -hmm. like we have two iPads. I don't give a fuck. If we have two iPads, let's put two iPads in the hands of two judges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do it then. Um, da, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, where the fuck is that? Oh, there. there it is. Mm -hmm. 
let's make a slideshow. Mm -hmm. If a slideshow can be embedded, then mm -hmm. slideshow can be embedded, then we can literally in 4K you can export the, a slideshow. So if we're using Illustrator, mm -hmm. we can export oh. uh, a web page. Yeah. Or not web page. We can export the data of a PDF mm -hmm. if it's in Illustrator uh, in 4K mm -hmm. resolution. I can upload 4K resolution to a fucking a YouTube video, a YouTube video of text that's 4K that can actually just linearly mm -hmm. go through the time frame, mm -hmm. can turn the pages theoretically or go through the sequences plus play video in singular That'd be form, amazing. and that would allow a judge to, with one URL, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, 1968 Avon. Yeah, 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 like, why would we have the domain name? Why, if we, if, what? Well, we're we're the squatters. No, they need to become the squatters now. Yeah. I'm okay. sorry, but you're not cooperating on any of the level I've been asking you to to participate at the level that we need to. Okay. Okay. I understand. I understand what you mean. It's just it takes take some fucking focus. And today, when I was saying I wanted to just type the answers. What do you mean? When I just wanted to type the answers, just on a typewriter, you know, it's because. They asked some questions that well, I was not a problem with me answering, and I was going to show good faith yeah, and, and that I had a piece of paper. I wanted to do that. You were so fucking like... I just wanted to have it on the typewriter. I That was fine. I said I would do it. You were literally kept on saying you need to use the computer. I would do... I would have done it on the typewriter, but at that point, you were like not even not even having it at all. You're so headstrong about it. It's like, and I, all I was wanting to do you, is you read were, that one thing that I read out loud to you about the, the format, about wanting the, how they wanted the letters. They didn't give a shit, though. They just wanted the damn information. I guess you're right. And it doesn't even get filed with the court. I just forgot that. I just remembered that right yeah, now. Yeah, it just goes to the law firms. I understand what you meant, and I thought that was a good idea, and I was all for it, too. And I'm, I loved writing the typewriter over the printer, over the computer any day. I was just under the misconception of like the format being a certain way, and it wasn't trying to preclude you from actually like doing it either. It wasn't meant to be a block. You took it like that, and then you wouldn't let it go. You kind of got hung up on it, on like the whole formatting thing, and you missed out on the point that I was just trying to use our energy to make it to cover ground. So Benjamin's supposed to help us. So could you actually get down what we need to do? The steps we're supposed to do. Like, mm -hmm. I would love to read this thing. Um, we have Frank. Hello. It's only one more paragraph. Yeah, how, how are you? Okay. Um, well, I'll be frank with you. I use your product because it's great, but um, I'm I'm a, an independent party who owns a nonprofit that's basically been forced to start a, a fraud fraud team for real estate fraud because um, Scientology has uh, occupied my neighborhood and taken up to 10% of all the property within a half a mile and has been defrauding us through mortgage frauds through appraisal uh, schemes and uh, it's kind of been rampant so our neighborhood's been doing a private investigation for two years now and you guys are the number one or two of research tool that we use um, so Yeah, it's wonderful. I, I I love it. I wish it was a little cheaper, but we're we're we've probably spent like seven grand in, in real estate tools this year, unfortunately for us, because we we don't buy property really. We just pre preserve it. Um, uh, uh, predominantly in Los Angeles, but um, it, it it typically requires a few zones to do the true research because. Uh, there's a lot of lending home uh, loans that seem to feed back from Pittsburgh and then New York occasionally that are related and Oregon and stuff. But in Los Angeles is the only zone I can afford typically to, to be uh, you know, doing research.
research in. Yeah, you guys don't have any deals that would work with a nonprofit. Like we're a 501c3 approved federal tax ID exempted organization or a community. Yeah, sure. today? That's Monday. Uh, I just got out of a really terrible court court hearing, so um, I would say give me like at least three days, and like three days from now, and I'll, I'll, I'll have some time, like Wednesday or Thursday. I think so. It does right now. Yeah. I mean, if you guys call, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I can't talk unless I'm really busy. So I'll be here. I'm always at home. It's called the Harwell Hamilton Harris Fellowship Parkway Conservancy Incorporated. It's a long one, but it's a famous architect. Harwell Hamilton Harris Fellowship Parkway Conservancy Incorporated. Yeah, right on. Thank you. You guys are a great tool. Appreciate it. You gotta finish yeah. this. Do you yeah, yeah, really yeah. like computer at all? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If okay. we can actually make a better station, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. um, I'm down to provide that opportunity for a better station. All right. But cool. um, to provide that opportunity for a better station, we would most likely um, implement uh, the workbench in some way. They're trying to evict us right now. Could you use yeah, yeah, your yeah. senses to like do this from a standing machine? Yeah, yeah. No, it's just that I, I was gonna make it darker, but it, she can write. Proof. She can read that. Who? The, the the judge, right? Which judge? The judge. The judge you were just talking. Yeah, to? yeah. I thought you already submitted it. Um. You told me you already submitted it. Uh no, the, that was the thing I was reading. Huh? The thing that I was reading. You just told me you submitted it. Yeah, that. Uh, okay. I don't understand what you're saying. The you said you submitted it. I submitted a motion, and the, what I was just showing you is an order for for entry of judgment. Um, I, that is referred to, but I don't. I haven't submitted it yet. Can I can I suggest that we file this in the proper case first, mm, and then yeah. give her the judgment that we won, because it shows. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. The judgment is two pages, or three pages. It's super <coughs> short. Yeah. And then you have cholera's, which is even stronger because it's not some weak-ass bird shit. Yeah, okay. That's <laughs> fine. I would put the weak-ass bird shit with cholera's by putting together in a PDF. Yeah, yeah. And, then and by using a PDF words. combiner to do it so that you're not degrading the file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't use the, 
V flat to do it, I use a photograph of it because the use a photograph to do it, you're going to have a hard render rendering of it. And you, if you do it with a bright light on a flat table where it's perfectly flat, no staple holding together each sheet, mm -hmm. it'll be a really good read of it because it'll be a JPEG version of it turned into the PDF. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And I would even just use it on the wall, like, you know? If I'll... Huh? If, if... <sighs> what is the phone going crazy for? Hello? Who's calling? Oh, yeah, I, I did actually... I'm just uh can I can I actually get a um, schedule a time to talk to you? I just got out of a trial and I kind of need to do a little summary um, with some people for a minute. It didn't, but um, I uh, if you give me like an hour, I I can totally talk. I'm just I just gotta wrap my head around what just happened. It was a pretty gnarly uh, being slaughtered for nothing trial, so. That's okay. No, that'll be fine. Um, if you give me a call back, I'm I'm going to be here. I'm at home all day. Thank you so much for your time too. Hey. Mhm. Mm okay. Okay. What's it gonna take for you all to right. get Isabella's letter out? All right. Um. Yeah. From the other machine? No. Yeah, yeah, I'll get some stuff. So I was going to say is that mm -hmm. papers, mm -hmm. if you put a paper, like, I noticed that if you hollow Hamilton Harris graphic, wherever it went, the, the book you had it in, mm -hmm. the, it's got the, a nice spot. Open mm -hmm. your eyes. Yeah, I got open. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm trying to help you. Okay. So the font was nice and it's in the middle, right? So if you put that kind of page, which is a different page, on the wall up there, like I was saying like earlier, you know, your, your bars are in a little bit more Margin, yeah. than, they, than they do on the pleadings. Like, I guess that's there. But if you use, like, stylize it, so if your pleading line actually has like, like a, like a graphic striping to, come on, mm -hmm. where are you? I'm right here. You're asleep. It's just a pattern. Uh, the, I'm trying to fucking differentiate something to make us have a standing out looking. Okay, oh, wait, I'll wait. just do it myself. No, you can just talk. To you. talk. You can I just am talking to you. I'm not you're sleeping. You're not even filing the thing. Because you're talking to me. You asked me. You can't. You literally stop. You talk. You would stop talking, demanding my attention. Because you're supposedly doing something, yet you're falling asleep, and then I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. and you're, away, and you're, you're being you're ridiculous. Not there. You're literally unable to finish. You haven't submitted anything yet. But you literally. Uh, okay. I don't, but you're literally like the last 20 minutes. I am not to blame. I'm not blaming you. I'm not listening then. I'm not listening. Okay. I'm trying, man. It's uploading. Jacob, I it's uploading. The amount of time we've been bullshitting since the court was over, I could have actually heard what you had written and had some. Yeah, but you on. talked so instead. I can't even talk to you without you falling asleep or talking over me. So miserable for me. You're the one that always talks over me. Well, I think not. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't want to fucking fight with you. Stop. Maybe you could just stand up and use the computer if it's not going to put you to sleep. Okay. Stand up and go to the kitchen. Stand up. Uh -huh. I was trying to talk to you about something interesting. Then know? talk to me. I'm, I'm not stopping you. Every time I do, you fall asleep in the first second. No, I don't. Bullshit. It's just about the way my body position is held. It's too much for me to do you just saying no, it isn't at all times. Because it's not a big deal. What's a big deal is you just regarding everything I'm saying. But that's what I mean. You don't have to take it so personally. I never get to tell you a thing that makes any difference. God damn it. 
literally fucking today was a shit show. You know why? Because why? last night you didn't just go along with me. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. You literally spent 25 minutes telling me how you were going to use the computer and I wasn't listening to your format. I wasn't, uh, you uh, I wasn't opposing you. You did for 25 I made minutes a on camera. I have video proof. I had a question. I brought up a question. No, you didn't. You brought up an opposition. And when Not an opposition. And working me in a way that was like, like cooperative. And this is like a repeat pattern over and over. And then you pushed every button you could to make me frustrated. No, I didn't do that on purpose at all. You were like so hell bent on this fucking thing. On being in that mood that you wanted to be in. I don't want to be in it. I just want you to stop repeating yourself with a practice of basically disregarding me and then saying you're going to help and then completely going against the grain right when we're starting and telling me that I can't do it that way because you are basically imposing some change on it that's going to basically stop us from going forward and have to go slower for whatever fucking reason and then fail miserably because I'm stressed out by the fact you can't go at the speed that makes me even learn learn in an effective way. Maybe if you don't consider my suggestions as not a block and just something to go, so me participating in your world. I do, but you're too slow. No, I'm not. Ready. If you would just you let didn't it happen. You have the knowledge to do it, Jackalope. Yeah, you I do. You none of the knowledge to go forward. It was literally a 10-minute wait before you even made a move. We were ready to go sit there. All I had to do was answer. Driver's license number, name, address, location I was from. So you like, just, why did it you then? Because I was you di- got up because you wouldn't fucking stop running around to do your way, which was your slow way. With I no sat answers. there for minutes waiting for you and like you didn't even. Oh, fuck yourself. Hate arguing with you. You're the one that's arguing. I don't like the way that you make me feel about all this. I disagree with you. How can you disagree with the fact that I am unhappy? Because you shouldn't be. In my life, in my relationship. But I'm not doing that to you. You're doing it. How am I doing it? You're not cooperative with anything I'm doing. Yes, I am. I stand by that. You're doing this to yourself. I'm just trying to fucking file this thing. I was just trying to work with you and you're picking a fight. I was trying to share an idea with you and you're sort of tuning me out and falling asleep and like mad at me because I'm trying to fucking do something you. that matters for our life because you've been fucking so negligent that you're causing us all this fucking I'm horror. not mad at you. It's like the worst month of my life ever this month. You need to relax. You or need to take shit seriously and handle something because your irresponsibility is costing us our livelihood. It's not. I am so miserable with the way you've been handling shit. I hate you for this. Not. You fucking literally give me all these fucking dirty little jabs and tell me to shut up, and it's like I don't need it. Just when the judge is talking. Look, I know that. I don't need you to do it. It's not helping. It literally is putting me on the worst fucking. Stop whining. You're being a baby. Calm I don't down. Care being a baby. I'm really unhappy the way you're treating me. I'm not treating you badly. Then maybe you'll be able to recognize it when I'm not here anymore. You're lame, Eric. Why are you being like this? I'm not fucking mean to you. You're just re- overreacting because of the sensitive nature and the d- stress that you're on, and you're taking it out on me, and you're blaming it out on me. You're being ridiculous. I'm not doing this to you. You don't blame me on me. Don't blame it on me. Come on. Don't blame it on me. I hate you, Shapiro's! Oh, a bunch of losers! Jackalope! Jackalope!
Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm feeling. Please don't go. <laughs> sorry, I didn't want to make it sound like a cry wolf or anything. I was just sad. Second to whatever it is. And like, it's, it's, you're a prerogative, and it's like, that's great, but what about, I'm trying to just get the work done, because I want to be in front of this thing. That's all I even care about. I want it to go away. I'm not trying to get in your way, Juggalo. I just make suggestions and you, know you take it the wrong way. You know how hard it is for me to get some of this done because there's a lot of stuff that it takes to get done? Maybe you can be a little, like, easygoing about it. Like, you don't have to get so mad and, like, upset and, like, make it last, like, five hours long, the, the anger and the hatred. You could just be like, I don't want to do that. And I'll be okay with that. Maybe you could stop doing it, though, so often. I like to make suggestions. It's fine, but when we're... I've been thinking about what I have to do for so fucking long that you are literally preventing our success. That's, I mean, then you say hurtful shit like that. But it's not fucking inaccurate anymore. Like, this is some terrible feeling. You're keeping me in a sick state of mind by no, not- No, I'm just, How am I doing that? By not allowing us to get forward enough on our case. I get it, yeah. The way we, like, have to, you're like, Putting me through on miser like unneeded misery and like pain and agony and like just like putting us in danger. Not sure. Our whole life is in danger because of your like neglect for the time frequency that this stuff needs to go in. Because of your decisions to make like your decisions on your own without like taking what I have to say as a, a piece of like reality. Do you take it as reality? It doesn't matter what you say at this point. I can't be convinced otherwise because the case. I had an opinion to file all this way in advance. We're still in default because of your decisions, and it's been two weeks and I'm going through hell. It's, it's been three weeks, actually, realistically, and I'm going through hell, and I was going through a whole month of it before that because we already got the papers. I'm fucking really, really, really going through hell. And the fact that that guy seemingly knew that we were stalling, you know? Mm -hmm. We weren't stalling, but why would he have an opinion of that? Because mm. he's with them. And the fact of the matter is, 
the things that you and I need to get done, simple little things like your phone died or the website erased your message because you like pushed the back button or something, has kept us from making a, a real report. Really sending a piece of mail to the CSLB has kept us from sending a report that does anything. Yeah, These yeah. are steps that are mandatory. Really sending in our recorded notice really matters. Really sending in our paperwork, it really fucking matters. Today's Monday, and you're fighting me about these things when we need to have our case beat now. So that letter from Isabella needed to be in at 8.30 in the morning. It's 11 or 12.30 now. They go to lunch, but this, this day's, today's decisions are done by 1 o'clock. Days are so short and almost nothing happens for us. And it's only getting harder and worse and scarier to the point where I'm now like actually considering that like we have to barricade ourselves in here just to fucking like know that we're not gonna be fucking like with the brackets and stuff like that. I'm scared, Jack Orb. I'm actively worried. And I'm not worried because we're in the wrong. I'm worried because we're not doing the right thing. Like she said, you have to, she said it herself, the, the judge, you have to play by the rules of the court. Well, you have no ADA filing in. You know, I said that's the first thing we make a template for and have it ready to go and in at all times. The second thing is use legal as a fucking, as the e-filing service for us. So just because we can, why don't we actually mm -hmm. start over? with our e-filing so that you can't even end up in our old cases by any means necessary. Yeah, yeah, No one can that. even end up in it. Let's we do start it. a brand new e-filing journal, journal mm -hmm. and or another one that, that'll take a, uh, or it'd be good to do two even, one that'll take a non-profit, mm -hmm. you know? First of all, the second thing is just read the statement I made. Where? Click over here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. summary right yeah, yeah yeah if your summary can't beat it with evidence embedded then we didn't win yet and we have to go to trial if your summary can beat it with evidence embedded then there's no reason to go to trial it'll be decided for in our favor okay I see only things that are in the pleadings can be summary proceeding right yeah this is so, a pleading so mm -hmm. this would be the opportunity to leave to amend because we were first of all first of all First of all, the fucking first of all part of this was, we were told that we were allowed to leave to amend to make a new case. Yeah. There is no reason for these people in here. They weren't actually to be served yet because we weren't ready to go forward yet. And there's a hearing set for it too. Let me say what I'm saying. She told us in the last trial, the judge, I'm authorizing you to go refile with new pleading to amend your answer. So we never served them because we didn't intend to serve them. Therefore, there's no reason for them to sue us for any of this or for us to be in a trial with them. In fact, we let them dismiss till we are ready to move forward with them, but they're not necessary parties because it is land, land, um, lending home. The second you can get lending home uh, uh, assaulted for this, we have a real party. Mm. You know? Okay. The second part is, is, this is a quiet title action for fraud, right? So let the bitches fucking set, like raise their hand. If they want to be a part of it, then that's who you charge. Look at the the civil file action, the Rico civil. Yeah. Okay. And you're you're missing the opportunity here. If you're sitting on that, you're gonna fucking be asleep in five minutes, and I was just like, it's just a big loop. So you gotta like do what you gotta do. I don't want to tell you what to do, but 
what can I do to make it better for you? Um, you just keep on going to the machine that makes you go to sleep. I can go on the lap machine? Or the uh, uh, laptop? Well, I mean, it would be nice to put the floor down and mm -hmm. use the mat instead of just blocking up the wall. Can, can you just come and look at the vacate thing so I could just submit it? Yeah. Or, or I can... Yeah, why are you even submitting it to that lady instead of just giving her the judgment that's the three pages that she needed while she's in that room before she goes to lunch? Why can't Does you? That, how do I do that in, without, like, like, how do I file that? What do you mean? Like, that as a notice, like a request for judicial notice? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what, what it is. That's what I thought so too. But you, t t where's the pages I brought home that I told you about that were like from a book? Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. are the pages I brought home? They're before the, they were crisscrossed. Oh, those are um, at the moment I really don't know. Uh, they, I think they're together with the uh, with the rest of the book. And the rest of the book is right here. What's that one? No, it's the um, the new one. Let's see. The new one you just got. Uh, we just got. I just got to pick up this stuff. Right? I, 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 I made a valid point though. Every time mm -hmm. I make a valid point, we should write them mm -hmm. down from now on. Okay. Because like, mm -hmm. the, the, besides, besides the fact that the, the prior judge had actually let us. So can I see that drop down list? Uh yeah. yeah I have a statement over there. Mm -hmm. I have a statement to add to that statement. I have a statement to add to that statement. Mm -hmm. Where's the list? Mm -hmm. By the way, I made a filing while in the while you were over here doing whatever you're doing. I made a reservation. That's what the re reservation was that they brought up. You should see, I filed reservations while we were like in the waiting queue. Mm -hmm, mm. So you see? Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? No, 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 I haven't seen it yet. Um, uh, for, for, that, for that case? Yeah, so I made reservations for, uh, I think I did motion to join her or something. Uh huh. Or and if I didn't do motion to join her, I did. And so, what have they done to us? They, they're encompassing us with shit. But here's the trick. Interrogatories serve. That's right. So, aren't we allowed to have interrogatories Absolutely. on them? Absolutely. Yeah. So, we want the same thing because what happens is mm -hmm. we nail Marcuson because mm -hmm. so they have no cause of action and they're trying to claim mm -hmm. that they have ownership uh, through something, but like, there's no contract. They're mm -hmm. just committing fraud. Mm -hmm. In fact, what we have is proof of them committing fraud by mm -hmm. them putting our trial evidence into their trial book mm -hmm. and then specifically saying we stole it from them. Mm -hmm. In 2019, you had ownership of this? No. And furthermore, Bird should be disbarred, mm -hmm. yeah, which will fuck up our ruling, though, wouldn't it? Or yeah, it wouldn't? I might. It would have to get retried again when it's a fraud on the court. Yeah, the whole thing gets dismantled. Dismantled. Make it just all as if it didn't happen. So it's not saying it, anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he caught that piece of evidence. Did I? Did I? Did I say out loud? I said that. Oh yeah, that's why I was trying to. Oh, yeah. I was. I had it. I was dismissing Long Platt and fucking Marcuson, and I stopped for just Chenny, right? But then you went and challenged it, and then they didn't do it. You know what happened? When I did that, mm -hmm. okay. when I did that, it left Chenny, the one suing us for a, a quiet title, and she has no ownership. Left Long Platt going, what the fuck? What the fuck? And their lawyer being like, objection, no! But their client, which you don't, well, we can just do uh, like another fucking dismissal. Could have been done right there and there. It would have fucking been, it would have been... See, what's important is that you make decisions that you're decisive in. And that you make them and you hold to them. So, when you went from fucking one end of the story to the other, when she's like, you know, you wanted me to do a... a CID or whatever. IDC? Yeah, but then all of a sudden she's trying to challenge me with, well, it'd be better to go this other way. Well, she was saying that, I was just saying that. I was trying to stick with what you were saying, like doing the meet and confer and not answering the questions. Well, we, in the middle of it, you started to go the other direction. No, no, I wasn't ever, ever. I never, 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 never was I trying to apply that. Okay, well, I didn't get that, and she didn't get that. I didn't even say anything. Yeah, you did. I said, well, the, the IDC route. The th it, it, right before the last time when I said I was going to stick with the IDC, you just gone the other direction. I didn't go the other direction. Okay. I didn't intend to. Uh, say that. Yeah. That is that why I was wondering why everyone was so confused. Because yeah, you were confusing everybody. 
And I was like, just making sure not to change my answer. I wasn't even saying much, I thought. Well, why? Because I didn't want to compete, like, to have, like, the back and forth that you say that we, like, do sometimes that is, like, a, a Back and forth was uh, the fact that you're interrupting, like, me to tell me to shush. I wasn't trying to tell you shush. In that instance, I wasn't trying to tell you shush. I was just, I thought you were asking me. For what? 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 To, what? I was just trying to not like have to deal with people being rude. Okay. Um, that was very okay. rude. Like I, I can understand when the judge, the judge doesn't like to deal with people like my personality. But my point that I didn't even make was going to be, you know, the world takes every type of person, and I teach art and education and in college level, so I understand what people are used to as well. But my field and your field are different types of communication, and so. I want to respect your type of communication and learn to adapt to it and its needs. But if you could understand that I'm not someone that deserves to be put down based on the communication skills that I've been taught are what are my prime function in this world. And so if this lawyer finds that it's necessary to use his tactics of su submission to hurt my well-being psychologically, I find that it's worthy of asking for his being... Um, barred from the proceedings as a lawyer uh, he's he's in bad faith huh? he's, he's, he's disqualifiable this is an unjust relationship that is uh, not neutral and mm -hmm. is absolutely uh, sickening and it would make anyone sick to make themselves feel shitty just to deal with somebody and it, you know it, it is not actually something when she says well to put you through that well you know to put us through the fucking uh, uh, I see whatever you know it's not that big a deal to put us through that because what what we're gonna do is we're gonna say hey look here's how you spell out fraud all right so I'll only give you one of your pieces of your puzzle because your puzzles pretty big but I have the whole puzzle okay I definitely have the whole puzzle it's this little French puzzle and it's a metaphor let's just use this page and this page and this page and this page as a single idea of the corner mm -hmm. Now, once we fill out the corner, or the four corners, mm -hmm. rather, the middle finds itself. The puzzle only has a certain number of pieces, and the edges are all the edges, and the corners are the only defining mm -hmm. part that would make the whole thing is structure. Mm -hmm. If I need to assemble a structure, and I know a time frequency, and I have a public record of your transactions, and I know what time you had a suit because of the fucking public record from Netter or whomever or from... Uh, you know, Unicorn. Mm -hmm. I now have a history of your log that shows your relationship to time on Earth. And your relationship to time on Earth specifically outlines your CSLB, your FTB, your cases with Melansky, David Glacier, and a list of others about five or six long and about ten people long in total. Your relationship to Chenny Shapiro uh, 401k being of several names is public entity knowledge through fucking the, the public uh, public mm -hmm. uh, request act because of uh, it being a charity mm -hmm. or a ta taxless entity, your relationship to paying taxes is also public information through record through requests to the IRS. Mm -hmm. All of these informations, for the exception of some of your f f escrow information, is accessible, and that is accessible through subpoena, which I'm already entitled to. Mm -hmm. The information you've supplied to the police, this p public attorney, is all requestable, and I've already requested most of it and have most of it, and therefore I'm able to align the time frames in which you made statements, the truth, the seven cameras I have, and all of your lawsuits in conjunction with the fact that you defrauded the city of Los Angeles, the state of California, and the United States government's trustee for the bankruptcy. Therefore, you are not doing legal homeowner um occupancy you are doing mortgage fraud and your mortgage fraud is excessive and it's in all of your properties whether you like to admit it or not you're involved in tax step fraud you're involved in uh, mortgage fraud you're involved in willful intent to disturb the mm -hmm. peace and create nuisance and what's called waste on the property and you have hidden construction deficit and caused a negligence uh, premises negligence uh, that would actually if you look at the video, it mm -hmm. would look like you willfully intimidated and attempted to create it over a set amount of time because the amount of time you've been stalking us and harassing us 
is dated back to a year before we even knew you were doing anything because mm -hmm. your your gang of four, uh, what do you call them workers mm -hmm. odd jobs mm -hmm. are also your labor um, what do you call that labor um, labor workers no labor, labor workers. taking advantage of laborers oh uh, human trafficking your human labor trafficking practice and your unfair wages practice oh, yeah, yeah. and your illegal like slavery basically. yeah your illegal slavery basically that you've somehow managed to coerce people <laughs> who have no other choice to do yeah vulnerable yeah and meanwhile you do what's a common practice now which is the same thing as commercial mm -hmm. backed mortgage securities fraud on appraisal through tenancy and common and 1031 tax deferred exchange swaps between inner family and false appraisaling at the higher value by construction improvement supposedly mostly in the area of deficit through subdivision mm -hmm. and uh, other attempts at making false rents at higher numbers until the property is so high of a property uh, value that you can consider yourself worth more equity so you qualify for higher loans under these false pretense because you never even had the real work in the first place and it's a scheme against the community and neighborhood because you have involved yourself with silverwood properties and resourceful construction in a feedback loop with Marcuson to a hide fucking trash in hillsides using pool permits mm -hmm. secondly use property sales from Ken to get contracted work and build zoom and house mm -hmm. to use like, like unjust enrichment mm -hmm. through giving yourselves contracts. Uh, underground economy. Yeah, underground mm -hmm. economy mm -hmm. and uh, unfair uh, anti antitrust violations. Antitrust violations, yeah. Meanwhile, you, uh, you create EPA and CEQA violations, you create fucking city LAMC violations, you create penal code and, and civil code mm -hmm. violations. Meanwhile, you create uh, environmental, hazards and endangering environmental hazards and endangering species, species and destroying trees. Mm -hmm. And then you do construction deficit on the people you're going to sell these homes to. All the meanwhile, basically telling them, hey, look, why don't you do this where I'll, I'll let you buy the home from me, you buy it from, I buy it from you, you buy it from me, and what we'll do is we'll, we'll put you in another house for a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's a house we just finished working on, it'll be nice. Then we'll build your house, then we're going to buy it during that time. Then when it's done, you'll buy it back. Mm -hmm. We'll swap it again. Mm -hmm. And we're going to drive the price of it up. And we'll save money on the build because the owner occupancy will allow us to avoid permits. Mm -hmm. The uh, the process will be a pool scam, basically. Mm -hmm. Not the pool scam with the hiding of trash, but the pool scam in the way we organize it. Mm -hmm. and then we'll fucking... We'll encumber the people next door if there's an empty lot. Mm -hmm. You know? And then uh, we'll push forward. And with that, we'll subdivide or add another mm -hmm. ADU on it. We'll add a couple ADUs on it. And once we do that, we'll get up to six ADUs. Then we'll start to raise the rents to six. Six uh, parcels at, at, at the full value of the price subdivided times itself, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, if the parcel is one, two, then we'll sell each subdivided piece for one million, basically. Mm -hmm. And that'll be at that value in less than a few years because we're going to do this to the whole neighborhood at the same time mm -hmm. because we get our value of equity up so high mm -hmm. that we have the means to buy that much property on mortgage fraud appraisals because they get the means to raise the property so high on certain buildings little at a time they now have all this equity so they can buy this building and this building and this building and this building pretty much right back to back and now they've taken a neighborhood over and they've raised the value up of it all falsely now they have a shit ton of equity because they did all this inner transfer and they're mm -hmm. going to sell one or two pieces because that's a huge amount of equity on those one or two pieces and now they can do it to another two blocks instead of one block and they do this all on not paying taxes and it's just a fucking it's a con because Ken will force you on to Richard. Rich will do construction deficit in the first place. They won't pay their workers the right amount. There aren't permits set up. There's no protections. There aren't insurance. No there's no engineering. There's no architect that's real, that's good. There's no anything other than Pinterest fucking design techniques and fucking spray paint marks for fucking Mexicans who don't know how to fucking build like America. No journeymen. Just fucking hard laborers that don't know their they're shit. They're used as gangs, like to yeah, they're to you out, out, out of your willfully intimidate you out of the property. So what I'm saying 
is that's the crime, and I'm just telling you the corners of the pieces. And I just kind of outlined to you how the corners go together and make a whole puzzle. But I didn't tell you where to look for everything. And if you had to think about it, I'd say it'd take you roughly two years to remember where you put everything. You know? And I already have it all. All of it. So you either burn me down, kill me, or pay me off, or get the fuck out of my life. But either way, I'm going to sue you, and I don't even think you have the money to be sued. So I'm going after Lending Home. The real people. I'm going after fucking quality loan service. I'm going after fucking Coldwell Bankers. So why don't you just get the fuck out of my life when we call it even? In fact, why don't we race for pink slips up the hill on motorcycles and see who can get to the top first, Judd? Or are you too pussy to fucking race me? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh yeah, that is... Hmm? That was excellent. That was really, like, cohesive. And I'm sorry. It's okay. I bet you the court clerk, if there was one, would be like, Damn it, slow down! Slow mm -hmm. down! We don't even have words for that! Slow down! Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> I know, I need to uh, get one for our next year. Just like, have it already set up. Um, or the other documents. Yeah, I guess my story, for my, my sake of saying it a little further, it's like, so if I'm, if I'm trying to outline your your puzzle, it involves time. Mm -hmm. Time and overlapping systems. And I know that during this one period, you had a house. This is the key ingredient here. The puzzle piece you didn't realize I'm looking at. You were specifically supposed to pay for David Glazier's mm -hmm. house. It was owed to him. And you kind of fucked with him on the date. And at that same time, you bought another house. Mm -hmm. And at that same time, you bought another house, and at that same time you, you took on a debt, got sued, mm -hmm. and then you denied them that you had the money and you couldn't do anything about it, you were going to live in it. At that same time, you got another loan under the same loan number with the same lender, and you pursued another house, and you put more money in your 401k, mm -hmm. and around that same time, you told the IRS about one incident of having it while having reported that you had it for five years or six years prior to that, while also stating that you had paid it two years, but it's currently three years in deficiency. Mm -hmm. You state that you make over $3 million with a $500 gross revenue, even though you deduct all of, all of your, mm -hmm. your cash flow to be uh, something that was negligible of $39,000 of income. It makes you look bad when you check every box is no when you should have checked yes it makes you look bad when you don't check the box to be auditable and when your business entities all are shells mm -hmm. for each other in a including long flats yeah and long flats is not an exempted entity it is a <laughs> entity that is built in the wrong structure yeah and that's, that's because he's from england that you didn't realize yeah. to do that right <laughs> well furthermore it's indicatable by the mortgage. So where's the mortgage? Oh, um, but his... Don't, don't uh, we have him on here? Any long... Uh, like, do we have any... Probably, but we should organize a digital aspect of it. But I know that where it is... I know, we're supposed to. We'll just know, can, uh, uh, we'll look up a PSRK real quick. Yeah, yeah. Because uh. I... Like, if you're putting in something to these people, I wanted to do it right. And that's why we were supposed to do my spreadsheet. And um, you're mm -hmm. going to kill me. I'm just um, submitting the... The order, and okay. we'll work I on that together. It's. it's I needed okay. you to submit Isabella's letter. Okay. Isabella's letter handled it. Okay. Well. They wanted to know how proof of service wasn't handled. You have evidence of it, then you have a prima facie case if you have three of them. You know, if you have one, you have one solid one. You have a person who saw what happened. You have video. The point you have video and her, you have a solid no fucking way can you go forward, start over. Okay. okay. You are waiting so too long, and the fact that you don't handle it as first is like irresponsible of you. It is. Wait. It's I'm not purposely trying to do that. I'm just doing these 
then the next thing we were going to do once we had that in is we were supposed to finish the police report because it would co-join mm -hmm. with your... We were still doing that. It would co-join with what you're saying, but we would make sure that everything was boxed in by evidence that was embedded. And I know you don't embed any documents. I don't have that yet. No, no well, I wanted to do it for real this time because it's about us changing. Yeah, okay. And That's fine. I want to do that. But we're... But it starts with Isabel's letter and the videos mm -hmm. that connected to it. Okay. Because uh, it's a two minute window. This is some seriously simple shit. Yeah. I mean, if you want Isabel's to be simple, yeah. if you want it to be simple, I would keep the one we wrote, mm -hmm. but submit one that's on the type of paper that you, you want to mm -hmm. do the way you do, mm -hmm. where it goes, I, Isabel, whatever, am mm -hmm. over the age of 18 and at all times uh, am able to testify if I'm called to. Mm -hmm. On such and such date, between this time and this time, mm -hmm. I was a witness to the um, mm -hmm. incident that, uh, the time frame, I was a, a witness to the time frame that is subject to uh, this court's uh, jurisdiction mm -hmm. under the, un, uh, if service was made. Mm -hmm. But service was not made as I only witnessed my neighbor having a seizure in her front yard and standing there frozen with a form of narcolepsy cataplexy. She had a stalker drive up in a car, photograph her with a camera, almost crash their car into another car, honk, and I shooed them off and they drove down the hill. I was told later by the husband that the car went to the bottom of the hill from his camera's view mm -hmm. when he noticed it after I pointed it out and sat in the back looking at their kitchen window for an hour until another identical car like it came over Avon Street, turned right, and left by Echo Park, heading left, which is very peculiar because the three cars that are involved in an interaction or something like that were all the identical white car. And the only thing that this reeks of is what it already has been suspected to be, which is a Church of Scientology organization stalking my neighbors and now potentially stalking me because I'm actually involved in reporting this and mm -hmm. I don't want them to be threatening my family or me or my neighbors and they have gone too far. These people have been committing more than harassment in our neighborhood and a destruction and a nuisance mm -hmm. in our neighborhood with a willful intent to harm our neighborhood through an intent uh, through a mortgage mm -hmm. uh, through a mortgage scheme that is apparent to most of the people around here since they've tried to defraud all of the houses around here at some point or another we either, some of us have been short sailed others of us have been construction deficited we've all been fucked with by civil War properties and resourceful construction and this church of scientology trying to make a heavy presence in the echo park neighborhood there's an over 10 percent like host, a hostile takeover a property in the Echo Park neighborhood of Los Angeles that is similar and equivalent to the Church of Scientology in Florida Clearwater, which includes uh, Paris Morphopolis, the leader of the Church of Scientology's district supervisor in Clearwater's own family member, Kathy Morphopolis, as a chief mortgage broker. And this is something I am making a statement to and I'm aware of, and that I am aware of my neighbor being stalked by Church of Scientology vehicles and people, because this has been two years of hell, and I caught only one thing that day between 20 whatever and 20 whatever mm -hmm. or uh, 4 4, 4, 4 and, and 5 o'clock <laughs> there's a stalker they drive by they try to take a picture they honk the horn I shoo them off I get out of my car I'm facing with my back to Elishba but I see her in the rear view mirror I'm sitting in the car listening to the radio and I see she's stuck there and then I'm horrified at the person who just pulls up out of nowhere, blocks my driveway, blocks me in, and pulls out a camera, rolls down their window, slides their car forward a little bit because they don't hit the brake hard enough, and then hit the gas, and then take off while taking pictures. It's just like, come on, this is the second time this month that I've seen this incident happen with the same people, and I know there are three men independently stalking her that are in the neighborhood that are part of this organization. And if yes, so how do I know? I live above her house. I look down at it all the time. And I can look down at the people who are stalking her from even higher. And this has been two years of construction, insanity, assault on these people's homes because they were 
able to discover a mortgage fraud, which they've been telling me about for quite some time and showing me the documents on, and it is quite apparent that these people are the victims and that this is a complete and total fraud on the court. Boom. Totally. That's excellent. That's really great. Okay. That's what we And then doing. keep the other clever one. Yeah, yeah, for our writing and for our uh, work or something too. No, you submit it later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just mm -hmm. like for writing work, you know, you just, you can be like, um, I also, you can even say, I also wrote a more candid version of this, but was required to write this in this format and pleading as I, after I had written my note, I read the rules in the documentation mm -hmm. for a uh, for a notice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, cool. So here's my original note because mm -hmm. I hope to add a little humor to this whole thing, but mm -hmm. obviously I guess my creative writing is not necessary. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Totally. Um, okay, uh, all right. And then we show her both of them, mm -hmm. have her sign them both. She'll be like, I'm saying all that. <laughs> that joke about the pink the house that looks like a phallic. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She knows. Um, okay, uh, you wanted to see something? Just type P R P S R K. Oh, yeah. P S R K. P R S K. Proper, yeah, PRS. Okay. PSRK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there they are. Mm -hmm. There's a couple, like two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, I know, I'm trying. Well, it's loading. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah, but seriously, mouse itis. It's just this. I don't know. Goes everywhere. Click on one of the PSRKs. Okay. Space bar. Oh, oh, you have to hit all. Actually, sorry. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to send you to do today? No. Send you to court, file papers, send it to Walgreens, pick up photos. Okay. You know, I, I was serious when I asked her. Was it, I was trying to say, like, wasn't our quiet title supposed to be fun? You know? It's supposed mm -hmm. to be enjoyable. People even call it, like, the court. It's like. It's like it's like the one type of court that's not horrible. That was miserable. Those assholes. Is that they're trying to take out? Take out? Yeah. Is it to use their opinion in the way they transmit their information? It's like you're using criminal threats against people. The way you're stating these things, mm -hmm. and to be a squatter is the definition of an accurate process, uh, adverse possessor. Mm -hmm. First of all. First of all, I take resentment to people using the word squatter in a negative context. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I take resentment to a person using adverse possession as a negative sentiment. These are things that are doctrines that govern the basis of America. And I have performed a service to my community where your client has committed a defrauding of my community. So everything I've been saying oh, yeah, okay. is like, is like well, it's mm -hmm. always on the ring for the most part, but mm -hmm. it's all, it's all, it's all true and should be in our s summary statement mm -hmm. is that the lawyer's attitude was mm -hmm. however the judge might like feel that you know boys boys don't mm -hmm. talk over each other the thing is is I wasn't really mm -hmm. and I am admitting that I am not necessarily a judge's best communicating friend mm -hmm. because of the way I'm a communicator on earth I'm a key ingredient in communicating to other types of people who mm -hmm. want to hear things in the way that I communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of my jobs, is transmission of information, mm -hmm. signs and signifiers. But you don't want to hear anything other than what you're supposed to because that's your job, is to, is to delegate information flow for a judicial mm -hmm. practice. But your lawyer buddy here, he has an ethical oath to understand the difference between me, who would be someone like his client, mm -hmm. and himself and his practice. And therefore, he is not supposed to use these tools mm -hmm. to arm himself with things that undermine people's livelihood. That would be a violation of his oath. Yeah, absolutely. To use his strength mm -hmm. of procedure to hurt someone's personal well-being for the sake of his own, like, enjoyment and gain. Mm -hmm. 
that would be basically dehumanizing for no other reason than to yeah. basically undermine people's happiness for no reason. And the thing is, is if Lending Home cheated the substitution trustee with quality loan service against American First Title and sold it to Lansman Investment, and Lansman Investment decided to take that fraud mm -hmm. because Jenny Shapiro engaged in it, that is a fraud that is implicitly not my fraud. And I was here for years before that, and they're not entitled to any mm -hmm. sort of thing, and you shouldn't treat people badly because of it. Yeah. And Especially. you should understand that Lending Home organizes a fraud, so your idea of what you're stating is engaging in me as though I have a threat to the community or a person of harm because I am literally doing a service to create a better world while you are egging on people who are willingly involved in financial crimes and you're putting me down for no reason other than your own personal gain and self and like mm -hmm. unjust enrichment. Mm -hmm. I think that's the sad part here is that America's championing the idea of landlord in such a way that it's a sick and twisted malign thing and I made these notes on the computer over there still mm -hmm. and on the phone. Mm -hmm. Where's the phone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a phone? Mm -hmm. You have a phone? Yeah, you have a phone? Thanks, yeah. Let me start it again. Where was it? Um, down. The phone? Oh, I don't know. No, where was it? Uh, right there. <laughs> hey, it's recording, I think, so. Huh? It's still recording, I think. That guy was such a jackass. Mm -hmm. I, he was a lot younger than I thought. He was going to be... Thought No, no, you're trespassing, trespassing actually. Yeah. You are. You know what they're doing down below? They've like started equity skimming by renting our bottom property illegally that yeah. they've taken hostage mm -hmm. in a forcible detainer, which we have a forcible detainer action, action that's uh, been mm -hmm. filed today because of what they did because of what we got our our rejection notices and our specific. Writ. We brought this before the presiding judge and the clerk of the court for their. We spent all day. That's why I'm like, so, yeah, I'm, that's just, super I'm exhausted. burned out, man. Because these guys, what does it say that 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 you're supposed to meet on the 11th? Oh, um, I can. Oh, bring, yeah, can uh, you bring it up? Yeah, on the yeah, template? yeah. Totally. It'll take about five.
filed a non lawful procedure, and it was incorrect, and it was the clerk Look, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, and it was completely false. Do you want to get your stuff or not? Yes, where is well, the plaintiff? Well, I thought the plaintiff had to be well, here in order to do this. Right. Where is Long Flat? I mean, where is it? Who is? I thought the Long Flat had to be with you in order to That is not true. I know for a fact. All right, then go to the courthouse and work it out. Who is that person? So, once again, he's amazing. Yeah. He's an agent. Okay, we're going to go there. Sorry, I'm so sorry. So what are you going to get from inside? What do you need? Papers. Any machine? Any Where are they at? I'll get them for you. Um, I, why can't I get my... Because I'm getting them for you. I don't we, we know where they're at. Are the cats in there too? Okay, it's a mess right now. I'm not going to get hurt. I'm going to quite hurt you. Can I grab my court papers? You're going to you're gonna have a chance. I am long flat. Okay, hold on. Why is she saying who's long flat? I said because I wanted to know how this you is possible. Know I know who no, Long Flat is. Let me know when you guys are done, alright? Let, let, let me know when you guys are done. I thought Long Flat is not a company. Let me know when you guys are done. Don't tell me what you think, tell me what you know. I know that the plaintiff is required to be there. I don't need to be there. The plaintiff is here. Where is he? Up there. Is that it? That's That's your one question? The plaintiff is up there. Yeah. He's okay. up the hill. We're, we're, we're also, we're uh, also uh, long time. They took our name, our business name. That is a name. I have a group of them. I have a group of them. No bearing. No. That's no bearing. No. Hold on. 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 Because I have a minute. This is against matter. my fourteenth right. The fourteenth amendment of the Constitution. Oh yes, I do. Okay. 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 Okay.